I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's video is a little bit different. It's not a sewing video. It's a journey through all of my favorite sewing tools. Things that I use the most, things that I have multiple versions of, things that might be of interest to you if you are starting your sewing adventures or you want to buy some new stuff. I have put together a list and links of all of the things that I use. I'm including everything that I'm going to show you, but in the video I will show you which ones are my favorites. If I have multiples of things or different types of the same thing. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Here we go. Freya my bootstrap DIY custom dress form. Since I have been using the dress form for several months now, I wanted to do a little review of it and how I feel about it now that I've been using it. Overall, I am extremely happy with her. I used my old corset to cinch her down to my corseted measurements and fitting has been so much easier than trying to fit on myself. I did need to go in and add some stuffing across the back and in the bust, but that was a super simple thing to do. The only problem I've had with Freya is that my shoulders are broader than hers. And that may have been a measuring mistake on my part when I put in my measurements. So I can't really fault bootstrap for that. But because of that, bodices that sit further out on the shoulders tend to slip off of Freya's shoulders. It hasn't been a huge problem so far. It doesn't really mess anything up when I'm trying to fit. I would definitely give the Bootstrap DIY Custom Dress Form a 9.5 out of 10. The sewing instructions were a little bit confusing, but she has been a very, very valuable tool thus far. First up in my most used and favorite tools are thimbles. There are lots of choices out there. I have a metal thimble, a brass thimble. I have the nimble thimble. I have this rubber thimble that I can't find the link to. I don't think it's sold anymore. And also leather thimbles. My preferred thimble is the leather thimble. I have the most flexibility in it. I use them all. The leather thimble came in a leather working kit. And I use all of these thimbles off and on, but the leather one is my favorite. Next up, a bodkin. They come in different lengths and styles, but the one that I have came in a little metal vintage-y looking sewing kit that my husband bought me. And it's very, very useful for threading lacing or threading a drawstring through. So it's, I like it a lot and I use it very often. A very useful tool to have is a place to keep needles, especially if you take your sewing out and about in the world when we can go out and about in the world. My best friend gave me this Simplicity needle book. It has felt inside to secure your needles. And I also have this little metal needle case and I would say I use them both equally. The needle book packs flatter though. Scissors! A good pair of fabric scissors is invaluable. I have two pairs that get the most use. My Fiskars tabletop shears get used most often. I reserve my Guggenheim shears for nice or fancy fabrics. I use pinking shears a lot. They're great for finishing a seam allowance or decorative elements. I bought this set because it has the regular pinking shears, the serrated ones, and also the rounded scalloped edge pinking shears. And those are great for 18th century trim. If you are making historical garments, an awl is a very important tool. I have a few in different sizes. The small metal one I use for making 
very small, tiny holes. The Dritz All, which gets used the most often, is a good size and comfortable to use. I also have a larger wooden awl for, for making large holes, but it has really not been used very much. It came with a leather working kit. Now we have some embroidery scissors or thread snips. I use them all very, very often. I keep the thread snips by my machine for snipping threads and the little metal scissors stay in my travel sewing bag. The Fisker scissors get used most at my sewing table. Marking tools. I use the Ultimate Marking Pencil for thick lines and my Bowen Pencil for thin lines on dark fabrics. On lighter color fabrics, I mostly use the Pilot Friction Highlighters. The marks come off very easily with ironing. And now, my most used tool, seam rippers. <laughs> I have a few. This little one here has been chewed on by Hercules or Lucius, but it stays close to me while sewing. I actually have been meaning to get some larger ones, but the little tiny ones work really well too. A very important tool that I use a lot is hand sewing or hand quilting thread. It doesn't tangle and knot as much as regular machine thread that we, you would use. And it's very, very good when you're hand sewing. Magnetic pin things, very useful. I love the Dritz Magnetic Pin Wand. I just make a sweep of the table or floor if I drop some pins and it just picks them up. When I travel with sewing, I take pins in this little magnetic pin box my best friend gave me. She got it at Joanne Fabrics, I believe, and I don't think that they sell it anymore. I use these quilting clips so much. They're great for hems if you don't want to pin into your fabric or when I'm sewing on the couch and I don't want pins falling out and into the couch to be found by my rear end <laughs> or my husband's or the dogs <laughs> or the cats. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending your time with me so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel any further, I do have a coffee account that is linked down below. I hope that you found this video useful and that it will help you in your sewing adventures. And I will see you next time on our next sewing adventure together. Bye!